welcome to the kid next door so today we shall be drawing a water cycle which is a very uh, important diagram in EBS or science for um, many grade levels okay so uh, in this we'll start with the drawing uh, two simple mountains and then uh, from the middle of the mountain we'll extend one uh, river which will be a zigzag shape and then we'll merge uh, the river with uh, the ocean boundary. So we are showing that the river is draining in the sea. Okay. And uh, because eventually all the rivers and lakes, they drain into the ocean. And that's where the water is collected. So we are uh, showing some landscape here. The mountains will show covered with snow. Uh, because that's also an integral part of um, water cycle. So wherever water is on earth and in the atmosphere, we are trying to show everything. Okay. Uh, near the mountain, we'll add few trees. Very simple. No, uh, no structure or shape needed here. It's just a symbol that there are trees here because trees have an important role in the water cycle as well. Let's begin with the water cycle. And the main, uh, the key player here is sun. So we'll draw sun and sun is basically heating the water on the surface of earth, in rivers, in oceans, everywhere, and heating it up, changing it to water vapor. So evaporation is the process with which the water changes to water vapor. Okay. So we are going to uh, write that down and we are going to show this uh, transformation of water to water vapor right here. Okay, so all these water vapor which are collected here in the atmosphere, they keep rising up, up, up and they cool down up above in the atmosphere. They cool and then occurs a process called called as condensation. This condensation changes these water vapor to tiny, tiny droplets of water. These tiny droplets of water get collected in what we see as clouds. So clouds are nothing but collection of tiny droplets of water vapor formed by condensation. As these clouds get keep getting filled up with the, the tiny water droplets, eventually the cloud becomes heavy and it pours all the collected water down. This process of pouring down of the collected water from clouds is called as precipitation. So precipitation is bringing the collected water by condensation back to the surface of earth, right? Precipitation is bringing water back from atmosphere to the surface of Earth. Um, the interesting thing here is that the precipitation is not only in the form of rain, but it can be in the form of sleet, hail or snow. All depends upon the temperature uh, in the atmosphere at which the condensation occurs, whether it will be snow or rain how cool the atmosphere is of a particular place. All the snow melts and forms river and rivers drain the water back to the sea and ocean. In this way, the water cycle repeats itself. The key of forms in which we see water in water cycle are water, water vapor, rain, hail, sleet or snow. Okay. Now what's left here is, are these trees why the trees are here. Well, the trees can also release water vapor in the atmosphere by a process called as transpiration. So by this process, the trees keep on releasing water vapor in the atmosphere and thus they help in adding the bulk of water vapor in the air. That's why people say that we should plant more trees because trees bring rain. And now you know how the trees will bring rain by helping the water cycle continue. So in this way, our water cycle picture is complete. So starting from sun, sun heats the water, 
changes it to water vapor by evaporation. The trees also add water vapor in the atmosphere by transpiration and all the water vapor cool down in the atmosphere by condensation, get changed to tiny droplets of water, form clouds. The clouds by precipitation, rain, hail, sleet or snow and bring the water back to earth. From rivers, the water flow to ocean and in this way, the water cycle will continue. Okay, all right. Let's begin coloring. As um, you can see, I'm using color pencils, but you can use any colors which you're comfortable with. Uh, for um, every component, I'll be using two shades, one light and one dark. So as you can see, for sun, I colored it in orange and then I just added a few yellow strokes on it and gave the rays of sun with a very rough yellow or circular strokes around the sun okay this is it you, you really don't need to be perfect in it but yes the the key colors are to be shown now for the trees I'm using one light green and one dark green so I'm coloring all my uh, trees in light green and then I'll um, use dark green to give some shadows or highlights from one end so clearly the part away from sun is going to be darker, right? Not the side to, which is towards the sun, that will be lighter. All right, in this way, trees are done. Okay, let's color the landscape with again, the shade of uh, shades of green, dark and light. So in this way, I colored the the landscapes here in the front i have an extra black line here uh, but you you must erase this one in the second mountain which i'm coloring now okay but it's okay if it is there also Okay, now let's color the mountains. I'll use again uh, two shades of brown, light and dark. And um, I'll add uh, those shades up there in the two mountains that we have. All right, here you see our mountains are done. Now uh, we'll add uh, color to the clouds. So again, I'll be using light blue and dark blue shades and I'll give circular strokes, leaving some white patches to give uh, a near to realistic cloud appearance. You may color them simply also, but try to just uh, follow whatever pattern you start with. So I started with circular patterns, I'm doing a circular pattern. If you're doing, say, horizontally, you continue doing horizontally, okay? Like this, after doing light blue, I'll just add some highlights and strokes using the dark blue color pencil. Keep your hand very light if you're doing this technique. Don't press too hard on the color. So this gives a nice uh, blending effect. The other cloud, however, I'll do in the shades of grey with a little blue because it's the raining cloud. So just to show the difference uh, in the two kinds of clouds. Okay. Now let's color water in uh, light blue entirely. And then we'll just add some maybe waves uh, with the dark blue color. If there are some white patches, that shall be perfectly fine. That may show reflection in the water.
pause the video wherever you feel like i have uh, kind of increased uh, the speed a little you may adjust the speed also from the gear button in the uh, youtube video and uh, maintain the pace the way you would want to all right so in this way our river and water is done we'll add just few shades of gray and blue on the snow also just to give a little color and uh, we can color the raindrops also if you wish to and that shall be all i'm leaving the sky as is to make the uh, make the labelings appear clear and in this way our water cycle picture is done